Welcome to an inclusive classroom. A classroom where you will see co-teachers delivering differentiated instruction based on formative assessment data and specially designed instruction based on students' individualized education programs or IEPs, collaborative and independent activities, as well as the instructional sequence meet students where they are and move them from guided practice to independent practice. The lesson plan can be your guide as you move through the video clips of this inclusive classroom. Clips are embedded into each section of the lesson plan as well as the materials being used within that section. Students enter the classroom and are greeted by their teachers. Cards are distributed indicating the instructional group to which the student is assigned. Today's lesson is the second day of instruction on one-step equations. The teachers will reintroduce the critical vocabulary, practice math facts for automaticity, and guide students through activities that will solidify their learning. Thank you for viewing and interacting with this inclusive classroom. One minute, and announcements are on. Um, as you guys notice, everybody has a card with one or two dots on them, and that represents different groups that we'll be going into today. Mrs. Gray will have one group, I will have another group. So, when you have been asked to do so, you will switch seats to go into your groups. Okay, today we're going to be reviewing one-step equations. Um, Previously, we've gone over them. We got an idea what we're going to do with one-step equations. We're just going to review the vocabulary and ask some questions about it to see what you guys remember. All right, the first one we've got up here on the starboard is an equation. Hopefully, you guys remember some things about equations. Um, if you look at the picture on the screen, you can see that we always have an expression within an equation. Um, You'll be seeing different terms today as we go through different uh, one-step equations. This shows a, a two-step, but we're going to be working with one-step equations today. It should always have an equal sign, so make sure you're paying attention to that, because uh, we're not really working with any inequalities today. Okay, the next we have... a mystery. We have a variable. Who can tell me something about a variable? Kendall? It's an unknown number. And what do we use in place of an unknown number? Appreciate it. A letter. So a variable is a letter that represents an unknown number, letter or symbol. Very good. The third one you guys see up there is inverse. You've probably heard this word before. Um, a lot of times we think of it as the opposite. OK, the last word we're going to review is bound. Okay, when we talk about one-step equations, how does balance come into play? You can tell me how balance comes into play, Ajani. How many of um, grams can equal one equal itself? Okay, so balance means that something has to be equal. And that's where the equal sign comes in from an equation. In one-step equations, we're trying to keep both sides balanced. And that's why there's a scale up there to show you that things need to be balanced. Now, when we're trying to balance one-step equations, what does that mean with the operations that we're using? On one side of an equation, you have an operation. How do you keep it balanced? Okay, so that's taking the, it depends on the, the operation, right? <clears throat> so we want to keep them balanced by doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. Make sure you pay attention to these vocabulary words today because we're going to go over them again at the end of class. Um, right now, if you've got a blue or a yellow dot on your card, um, Ms. Franklin is going to be working with you over in the corner table back there. Uh, the rest of you, I'm going to give you directions on what to do. 